They have breached the walls. I must find Chelbeard. Any sign of Chelbeard? No. Boy is likely cowering in a haystack somewhere. Keep an eye out! Thanks, so. I'll stay your welcome. Have you seen Chelbert? No, but we caught sight of Leovi fleeing across the river. He was chasing him. Chelbert, he's the only prize worth taking in this mud sink. Pay for 
Fear stains. You're mine. You try the other way. Sweat together, bleed together, triumph together. Join me. Together we'll force open the doors of the Old Father's Hall. Jailbeard, he's in trouble. You won't back down, Leofrith. I will not. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Oh, please. You do not want to do this. Leofrith, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrit. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. I will make you feel pain. <clears throat> You're slowing. You're a strong will thing. Burkrid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I use you. Go on then. End it. No appeal to your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to serve Burkrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. 
All this fighting, it's for nothing. It's for no one. To betray one so trusted so close, it's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chailbeard. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. For a boy no longer. Back there with Leofric. I don't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth... He... You're right about him, Chelbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Bert. Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Aethling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. 
one that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now. And everyone has gained something. Silver. Honor. Allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist. As a sign of friendship. As should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then, Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. Best tell her the good news.
To the waves. Run up the sail! Sing us a song. Let the sail out! Let's have a song. Hold on. Lots of hungry fish here. Mm-hmm. 
That's the statue the zealots use. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those zealots off my back. I should talk to hide them about my next targets. I would like to see what you have in stock. Is that what you want? One's pretty good. You like the looks of that one?
You have a keen eye for quality. I can get you that one easy. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. You have a keen eye for quality. One's pretty good. You like the looks of that one? I do good work, I must say. I'll see you later, friend. Put that gear to good use out there.
That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Your beggar is done, Tarpen, and our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up down river. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Tarben, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folks say a band of hard drinking, battle scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. 
And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Wh what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silvers worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trait. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me. That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. and gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Turban. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help.
You're a good boy. Abel? A moment. A cozy room. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide in even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Little Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not... At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you. And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor. Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. 
but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. All you say is nonsense, Dag. Have I done something to raise your ire? Just as I thought. You're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here! With me! Go to your grace! 